gag me with a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I What's going on guys? This is Mr. McTikTok, you already know, and here are two of my favorite co-workers. They are teachers at my school. This is Miss Fox, Miss Lutt. This is what we're doing today. I'm gonna quiz them, being a millennial. She's Gen Z, believe it or not. Boo. Barely, I mean, I barely mean, Gen Z. I mean, you do you. Barely Gen Z. And then we also have another millennial, I'm not gonna say her age. She's like five years younger than me. Yeah, Great. absolutely. Okay. And so I'm gonna use slang from the 90s and see if they can define it and put it in a sentence. Here we go. Are you ready for this? I'm so ready. We'll start with you first, because okay. you'll probably know this one. You're up next. Ill. Oh, he makes me feel ill. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't, then you probably shouldn't The only thing him. I think of is the climbing shoe brand called So Ill. That's So Ill? Or like, okay, fine. It's like, it, so it goes like off of this. Oh, I'll give you an easy one, Gen Z. Okay, like, watch. That's bad. Bad. It's good. Yeah, it's good. I know. It doesn't make good. sense. Okay, now use it in a sentence. Uh, her new hat was bad. I don't know if you would have said that. You would have been like, oh, dude, she's bad. Fat. Oh, I got it. <laughs> oh, I know you have it, but you're my generation. <laughs> okay, okay. Come um, on. Fat? Yes. Like it's super cool. I don't know if I could, I don't use it in my common language, but uh, that song was fat. That's a oh, fat beat. That's, that's a, a fat, fat beat. beat. That's a, that's a fat beat. It's a fat beat. It's like that song slaps. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like the shoe called Fat Farm. Oh, they were like the coolest shoe ever. Fat Farms. I'm serious. <laughs> Look it up. Fat Farms. All right. All right. Home skillet. Home skillet. <laughs> Why did we ever say that? I don't know, home but we did. Skillet. It's like you're my, you're my bro. You're my home you're my skillet. Oh, you're my <laughs> Why? Why did we ever say this You're stuff? You're my right hand What's dude. Up, skillet? <laughs> Gag me with a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I still Gag say me that. Gag me with a spoon. Gag me. still say that. <laughs> Gag me with a spoon. It's like it's disgusting. Super annoying. How could someone ever do that? Yes. Yeah. Like when someone oh. says something, ugh, gag <laughs> me with a spoon. He asked me on a date. <laughs> Gag, Gag, me Gag me with a spoon. Ow. 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 Gag me with a spoon. Ow. <laughs> This one I still use. Dope. You do say dope. <laughs> yeah, I say dope. So I'm such dope a. All the I'm like, time. dude, that's so. Oh, I can't. I just. I'm gonna use it for you. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Definition. It's badass. <laughs> okay, badass. Badass. Oh, so badass, bro. So badass. You know it. Okay, here we go. Let's do this one. All that in a bag of chips. <laughs> I use this. What? I use this my dad all the this. time. My mom uses it constantly. Oh, so you got it from your mom? Yeah. Is your mom millennial? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm not that young. Mm -hmm. he graduated early. And a sandwich. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And a sandwich. Stop, a sandwich stop, stop flexing. For you, explain this one. Talk to the, talk to the hand. Oh, talk to the hand because I ain't listening. Because <laughs> the ears are. Because the ears aren't listening. Because they're not listening. So I don't want to hear what you have to say. You want to know what the actual definition is? It means a dismissive gesture or statement implying, I don't want to hear it. Look at you. Um, I said that to a kid the other day. <laughs> you said talk to the hand? And they were like, what? Talk to the hand. Just talk in, to the we hand. We should just incorporate all these phrases just <laughs> subtly and not tell any of them. And yes. not explain Start them. using, I'm going to start okay. using these on all of them. I use their Gen Z phrases back at them, but I half the time I say it wrong. Like yeah. the other day I said, pop off. <laughs> I said, pop off? I said pop off. To, to what in context? I, one of them did something really good and I went pop off. The first time I ever said it, I said top off. Oh, see, and the that. the kids ate me. Yeah, they would. They ate okay. Wigged out. Wigged out. Oh, we finally <laughs> got her! We finally got her! I've heard of it. I don't know if I know could know how to use it. Wigged out. Uh, Like you're going crazy? Kind of? Yeah. No. Nope. I'm gonna be hard on you on this one. Uh. Come on. Come on, Gen Z. I don't know. All right. So you're getting there, but you're not. It's like being Wait anxious out. or nervous. So you'd be like. What? It's like you're freaking out. I'm about like something. I'm wigging out, bro. Okay. Wuss. 
Calling me a wuss. Calling you a wuss. You're, 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 you're such a wuss. You're such a wuss. All right, what is it? Um, you don't want to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You don't want to fight that girl. You're such a wuss. Wow. That's hardcore right there. Yeah, it's a good one. About gender equality, everyone. So, a good one. You got a good one? Oh, you want to test me? Test me. I do. Shred the gnar. <laughs> oh, you have now entered into my plane of existence. As if. As if. <laughs> Obviously, I use that all the time when I used to talk like this. It's true. We all talk like It's that. kind of like. It's like, <laughs> he thought he thought he was gonna get me as if. <laughs> yes, that's it. It's like disbelief, like a yeah, right. I don't even, but kids don't even say yeah, right anymore. I don't no. know, I forget what they would say. They just what. give a look. It's just a look. <laughs> He'd be straight simping and I was like, as if. <laughs> as if. <laughs> okay, scrub. Scrub. Oh, and you gotta, scrub. and you have to sing it too. I'm not gonna sing the song. Yeah, you gotta do it. No. Um, <laughs> such a scrub, as in, I don't know how you would define it. Like, it's a guy that just has no riz. He's your, he's your, just so he's you. He's your know, right hand record, friend. I don't use riz ever. I will. That's a lie. She does. That's what you're saying. Flat. So what you're saying is that. Our slang is still relevant today. Yeah, it's still relevant. I feel like our words are better than the Gen Z words. Oh, that's a again, hot take. Hot take. Hot take. That's again, I just like scrub, for the record. Scrub versus sim. I'm absolutely. barely a Gen Z. Yeah, but you still are, which is it makes it all the better. By like two years. You're literally a Gen Z teaching Gen Zs. Yes, yeah, well, true. Got like old years. Gen Z I too. I told my students that, and they're like, "What do you mean you're in my generation?" They're like, "Ew." Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Wait. Oh. Wait. Wait. If you like this. Like, comment, subscribe, do your thing. Love you guys. Ah! We out! Woo!